COVID-19 has infected 3 million people and killed at least 208,000 worldwide, according to Johns Hopkins University. The World Health Organization Director General said the coronavirus pandemic isn't over. WHO continues to be concerned about the increasing trends in Africa, Eastern Europe, Latin America, and some Asian countries. Italy will allow factories and building sites to reopen from May 4th and permit limited family visits as it prepares a staged end to Europe's longest lockdown. The country's restaurants and bars will be allowed to reopen from the beginning of June, but movement between regions remains suspended. Italy has one of the highest death tolls in Europe. Lockdowns around Latin America are helping to slow the spread of COVID-19, but are having a darker, unintended consequence, a rise in domestic abuse. The United Nations reports rising violence in Mexico, Brazil, and Colombia, and a doubling in the number of femicides in Argentina during the quarantine. Plans to make face masks compulsory to combat the spread of coronavirus came into effect today in Germany. Germany is starting to ease some restrictions at the beginning of May, but large public gatherings, including religious services, will remain banned until August 31st. Bars, cafes, restaurants, cinemas, and music venues will remain closed. Mask use will be compulsory on public transport and while shopping. Forced to cancel her 100th birthday celebrations due to the coronavirus pandemic, Feliza Salazar's family and Colombian National Police decided to surprise her with a special party. Well, it was beautiful to have company and to see myself celebrating these 100 years. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.